Welcome everybody. This is my first custom keyboard build. I went with KBD Fans Tofu 65 Grey and Gatoron Yellow Switches. One of my friends recently got one and I couldn't be left without one. So I also dived in. The desk mat is from Keyhub Australia and I reached out to them and got a few coupon codes for anyone interested in getting one. The quality is great and they have some awesome products in their store. I'm using KBD Fans Lube Tools Plus Collection. It comes with a lube station, some brushes, tweezers and a switch stem holder. If you don't have any of these tools, just get this kit. They are cheap and they do the job well. I also got the aluminium switch opener, which I highly recommend getting. The switches can be hard to open with a screwdriver and saves damaging the switch or yourself. For the amount you're spending on the custom keyboard, just get a switch opener. You will thank me. I chose to go Gatoron yellow linear switches. I also bought Gatoron browns to test out tactile because I've never had tactile switches before. I've only ever had Cherry MX Reds. I lubed and filled the switches with Crytox 205G0 and I used Deskey switch films. I decided to get switch films because they made a deeper sound profile that I liked and for the little extra cost it is definitely worth it. Lubing switches is very time consuming but so rewarding. I'm glad I did it because the sound and the feel is massive. I'm using Cherry MX stabilizers that came with the Tofu 65 DIY kit. I clip the stabs and I use Permatex Dielectric Grease. Dielectric Grease is readily available from most automotive shops. I got mine from Super Cheap Auto. This case is so weighty and the build quality of this feels amazing and it looks great. The size really threw me off when I first got it. I found that it was, I felt like it was so small. But once using it and getting used to it, I found that 65% is absolutely perfect because you have a compact size along with functionality with the arrow keys being in it. Before screwing the PCB into the case, test your stabilizers. Get them perfect now because a bad stabilizer can make or break the typing experience and is so frustrating. The PCB is a DZ65 RGB V3 hot swappable. I cannot recommend hot swappable more. I have no idea what switch I want to permanently use and easily being able to change the switches basically on the fly is a massive positive. To be honest, it doesn't matter how many videos I've watched, I still have no idea which switch I like because I find a feel of the keyboard is probably more important than the sound. Having said that, sound is still a big contributing factor. I chose Gator on Yellows because they are a good entry point into a linear switch. Please leave me a recommendation of any other switches I should try out or what you've got in your build. When putting in your switches, be careful not to bend the switch pins. Bending them can make the key activation not work. If this does happen, just pull the switch out, straighten the pins with tweezers and carefully put it back. I had this happen to me twice because I'm an absolute Idiot! There is a massive variety. Literally, the sky is the limit for keys. Oh my god, it was so hard to pick. I finally went with this set from HK Gaming for 60 bucks from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for anyone who wants to get this key set. Keyset reminds me of Farah from Overwatch. I've been playing Overwatch quite a bit lately and this just felt right getting this keyset. I want to look at modding the Tofu 65 a little bit further. I've seen people use rubber grommets for mounting the PCB so I'm keen to try that. And also getting um, rubber or foam to increase the acoustic inside the case. So I'll probably be doing that so stand by. I've never filmed myself typing before and god damn, my technique is terrible, so uh, let's all have a laugh and enjoy this sound test.
And now compared to the Cooler Master Quickfire Rapid Cherry MX Reds. For anybody that's looking into getting into custom keyboards, just do it, man. It's so rewarding. I had so much fun. The quality difference to a standard keyboard is massive, and I actually come home and just want to type on the keyboard just for the sake of typing. It's so satisfying. I found it similar to when I built my own PC. You just feel rewarded once you're done. But that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much. I'm super happy with uh, my custom build. And until next time, I will see you later.